Now we do have three hurricanes on the map though. This is Jose here, Katia in the Gulf of Mexico, and Irma, which is the one that we need to be focused on. Let's keep our eye on the ball with this. That's our big storm. That's our Category 5 hurricane moving up into the southern Bahamas as we speak. Uh, let's see if we've got an update here. So far, we still do not have an update from the National Hurricane Center uh, on this particular storm. So we're just going to move on through it. If, if that's the case, usually by 5 a.m. we have it. That leads me to believe that they're doing something to the forecast. It could be some sort of significant adjustment. I am not sure. Um, it could be the fact, too, that we have three hurricanes out in the basin right now, and they're trying to uh, juggle all of these. I'm going to go through that information, and we'll try to sort out what's going on. Okay, but first things first, hurricane hunters are on their way into the storm as we speak. This storm has been flown constantly by the Air Force. We got it? Is it coming in? All right, here comes the latest track. Let's uh, just go on past that now, and it should be uploaded into our system right now. Now, there it is. Max winds at 180. We have no signs of weakening, no signs of intensification. At this point, I'll take both 921 millibars. As long as it's not getting worse, we're in good shape. The pressure's holding state uh, steady there. It's 95 miles to the north of Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Uh, here is the latest track from the National Hurt, and they did what I thought they were going to do. They're shifting it slightly to the west here uh, by Sunday morning, and then Monday morning bringing this into somewhere around the Space Coast, and then somewhere the center line would go near the Savannah River uh, as we head toward Tuesday morning. Now I do want to give you a, uh, a quick little nugget here, okay? This is a wide cone. It widens quickly past Saturday. Two things to remember about big hurricanes, and this is the best analogy that I can give. You drive a Honda Civic, your friend drives a pickup truck. Which one turns faster when it makes a right turn? Octavia, Brad? Uh, Civic. The Civic will make a right turn easily. Which one makes a slower, wider turn? Yeah, the truck. Irma is a what? The, the truck. truck. The truck. You've got to remember, the turn is going to be wide. We have to see where it is. If the turn occurs here Friday into early Saturday, that is bad news for us. If it occurs Sunday morning, that means it's going west of Florida. Let's say it makes an even wider turn and cuts east of the coast. All of those things are on the table, and we're going to outline those for you here coming up as we head through the next uh, 10 minutes or so, okay? So first things first, there's the new track. Again, I don't want you to pay attention to the center line right now past the turn because that's going to be key this morning. What you need to take away from this, we're in the cone. That means we are in a preparedness state. Buy your supplies. Go through your checklist. Start getting your home together now. We're now moving along in the process. We're not to the point where we're saying, okay, the plan's got to be put into action. It's time to get out of here and hunker down. We are not there yet, not even close to being there, okay, Laura Smith? That's what I want to stress out this morning. We are moving out along in time now, so we're moving on to the next phase. Now it's time to start putting everything together. So when it's time to get that action plan in place, all you got to do is that Let's and you're ready going. to go, okay? 